Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, this video is just going to be a bit of a chatty one, explaining why I've not been on and the start of my weight loss journey. So let's get into it. I just want to apologise for not uploading the last two times that I should have uploaded. I've not really had any motivation to do anything, so filming things hasn't been the easiest. I have filmed, but then it's not just not been enough to put together for a video, so that's the reason I haven't uploaded. So I do apologise for that. Um, a massive thing, like I said, has been motivation with me. I've not been able to get out of bed and do a workout or do my exercises. And the lack of motivation has just been absolutely slack. And I'm not really sure why. Because yesterday was seven weeks post-surgery. And for the first five or six weeks, I was motivated to get out of bed and do absolutely anything I could to get back on my feet. To get back outside doing the exercises, to get back outside doing the workouts. Um, I was eating really well, really, really well. And then, for some reason, these past two weeks have just gone downhill. And I'm not really sure why. It might be the change in weather, because obviously when it's sunny, you want to go outside, you want to go and work out, you want to go and do your exercises outside. And obviously, when you're stuck inside, obviously down to this lockdown, like, I don't motivate myself to get out of bed and go and do a workout in my bedroom. Like, who would? But then again, I need to think back to reality. If I don't get up and do these exercises and if I don't get up and do this workout that I've planned to do that day, then I'm not going to lose, one, lose the weight that I want to lose, two, get my muscles back around my knee fit and strong so I can go and get back out on the pitch and free the bigger picture, there'll be no chance of me getting out on the pitch. So I need to keep pushing myself keep going and staying strong and remembering that this is all to get back out on the pitch and do the things that I want to try new and do the things that I love because at the end of the day without football I'm just well without football I'm a mess basically um I love football football has always been a dream always been a passion I've always wanted to play professionally and I know I'm not at that stage yet but hopefully one day Fingers crossed, I'll get there. So yeah, like I said, motivation is key. It always will be in anything that you do. If you haven't got the motivation, then you're not going to succeed to your best potential, to your full potential. So stay motivated, stay strong, and remember, keep pushing and get to that goal that you want to reach because at the end of the day, it's the best feeling, like, the best feeling in the world. I know when I came back from my injury four years ago after being three months out, it was the best feeling to put a pair of football boots on, get out back on the pitch and be with my teammates. I may only play Sunday league, but football to me is football. Whether it's a kickabout on the garden, doing some kick-ups and practising your skills, or whether you're out on the pitch training with your teammates, or whether you're out on the pitch playing a match and winning or losing. Like Winning and losing doesn't matter to me. As long as I'm out there with everybody and I'm having fun. Do you know what I mean? That And that's a big part of football. You have to enjoy it to succeed. If you're not enjoying it, then you're not playing to your full potential and you're not you're not smashing it. So, to any footballers out there that are actually watching this, keep motivated, keep fit, especially throughout this tough time. Like, I know it's tough for everybody and I know everybody is struggling. I know a lot of people that I've spoken to, including family, are struggling, but... We've just got to keep pushing. And I'll say a massive thank you to all the NHS and all the frontline workers. Key workers. You're doing really well, so we're all proud of you. So keep pushing, keep staying motivated, and we will push through this. But I just wanted to show something on camera that's... Um, it's been tough for me. And... I struggle to not look at them, because obviously I look at them and I've played in them since the last injury four years ago, but... Um, these football boots, tiny feet, I'm only size four, um, bring a lot of memories back for me, a lot of memories, um, when I got injured four years ago and dislocated my knee, these were the bad boys that I was wear wearing, so, it's hard to kind of, I won't say look at them, but remember the memories, but also, these boots have been with me through good times. These were the boots I put back on and got back out on the pitch, even though I really shouldn't have done. I should have 
kept pushing for answers but obviously i didn't know at that time i'd snap me so that's that um, but yeah they they bring a lot of good and bad memories and have supported me over the last four or five years but i've got a new pair of football boots for when i go back and i can't wait to put them on but that is my motivation actually my new football boots sounds silly but i can't wait to put them boots on get back out on the pitch with everybody and just just enjoy myself just enjoy myself so i also explained at the start that i was willing to share my weight loss journey um over the last two years uh, it's been a rocky journey not only within my injury with football but with my mental health um i was drinking five or six energy drinks a day and it was just getting absolutely ridiculous and over the last two years i've actually put on two stone um back in january of 2018 no january 2019 um last year as i explained in the video i started going to the gym a lot and getting getting a lot fitter getting my strength built up and i think i did lose that like a stone i think something like that i lost a stone and i felt good about myself i felt my mental health was getting better i felt fitter i felt a lot better about myself and um, but i've lived since obviously since being out injured i've not actually lost the weight i've put the weight back on obviously i've not been able to go to a gym not been able to keep up the cardio to keep fit and healthy and throughout the struggles of this injury i've not really eaten the best or i've not eaten at all um it's been a long process but i feel myself getting a lot stronger and a lot better so i'm now finally where i think i need to be with my motivation slowly getting back up um to sort my weight loss out get some weight lost so i'm ready to be back on the pitch when i can be so i want you guys to come along that journey with me because you guys will be motivation towards me motivation to put in a video out and if i need to put a video out then i need to get up and do something i need to get up and film something so that'll help um i'll explain how heavy i was at the start so seven weeks the day i went for my surgery i got weighed and i was 11 stone six and yes i'm embarrassed to say that i'm a footballer that is embarrassing but now i've lost nine pound i think it is maybe ten but we'll stick with nine because i know that was what i was last week when i weighed myself and i'm now 10 stone 12 i think 10 stone 12 10 stone 11 something like that so i've lost around nine pounds i'm not very good at maths so work that out i have lost nine pound but i'm not very good at maths um so i will upload a picture of me what i was then what i am now and then obviously throughout the next few videos well not few because it's going to take me longer a lot longer than few to get where i want to be but i'm going to share my weight loss journey i'm going to share my fitness improving obviously throughout my injury and then i'm most excited for the videos when i can actually play football get so i have got some really good ideas football ideas football drills and stuff so that's what i'm aiming for like youtube even though I've only uploaded for probably like two weeks, has been a massive help within motivation for me. I know I haven't uploaded in the last week, but I'm feeling a lot more motivated now. I know I need to get out of bed. I know I need to do something about all the things that I want to improve and all the things that I want to do in the future. So, yes, I will take you guys along with me. So I just want to say thank you for all the support. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for the comments. In fact, I think my comments have been turned off and I'm not sure why, so I need to look into that. But yeah, thank you for everything. It really does mean the world to me. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And um, please give it a like. Um, I'll put my Instagram down in the description box. So if anybody needs any answers or any advice, then I will answer on there, seeing as my comments have been turned off. Please subscribe because obviously, like I said, it all means the world to me. So yeah, thank you.